welded uh, frame, uh, which you have a. Let me see if I got this connected correctly. There we go. Okay, so we got some well issues that we just need to address. Uh, a gossip will take care of this uh, um, area right here when we need a bolt right here and a bolt here. Uh, this is uh, it's, uh, pretty well bolted to the, the railing to the frame. We got some uh, lags bolts to the to the house and that's okay because uh, like I said this is a fire escape that has legs to the ground so the house acts uh, as a leg the only issue here it will be to uh, silicone all the way through the way we stop from water through uh, leaking through the building and damaging uh, the steel um, the grating uh, it's fine. Uh, this fire escape actually is an, a, a, a good test uh, for a, a good candidate for a low test. We got some uh, we got some rust in the, in the connections uh, that will have to be. Um, you can see the water penetration. Uh, you can see that that pretty much is, is tight. Not that much build up, but yes, there is some uh, uh, evidence of. Uh, of uh, water penetrating the connections and to avoid uh, in the future major repairs and major rust buildup we need to open these connections clean them up silicone and prime it and reseal uh, uh, so we can uh, avoid the, the water penetration it's well bolted and uh, again some of the connections uh, I'm uh, I starting showing, uh, starting to show uh, signs of uh, water penetration. So we need to go in there, clean them up, silicone, and uh, shut them. And same thing here with the treads. The treads have uh, signs of uh, signs of um, a water penetration again and uh, you can see the rust tears but overall they're in good condition they need just to be uh, open up clean up and reseal especially there where the frame sits on the legs of this fire escape um, again as i said this is a, a good candidate for a load test um, we need to uh, repair some minus, uh, minor issues that are required that uh, some clean up of the connections, uh, silicone shut so no further damage is caused by water. Um, you can see this fire escape needs a good scraping. Um, most likely, uh, as you can see by the red base color, that uh, this has a lead so. Whoever does this uh, renovation will have to have a renovator's license, uh, EPA uh, required, and then uh, a paint job will be required on this fire escape. There's more rust and paint. Yeah, but overall, uh, okay, here's again those connections that they, they weren't sealed properly when built and uh, we got evidence of uh, rust uh, water penetration so again all these uh, welded connections they, they need to have a gasset that will unify both sides with a bolt here and there or two bolts Depending on the size of the bolts that we're going to use, but a 3A bolt will be sufficient to unify these connections. Same down there and over here, and you can see the rust just uh, on on all the 
surfaces so this uh, fire escape needs to be scraped cleaned up and uh, it needs uh, a good paint job again some of the connections just gussets to unify the two areas because this is a weld and welds uh, don't hold and this just will take care of that problem so <clears throat> you can see that uh, this is a uh, fairly new and the fire escape uh, H uh, you can consider this a fairly new fire escape it has all the new hardware but it is the original hardware and some of those uh, connections need to be uh, a silicone so there's uh, so we can stop the rust going in through uh, the connection like you can see right there uh, I don't know if you can appreciate that we're gonna try to get it closer <coughs> There's uh, some some brush build up there, and we need to open that up. That needs to be opened up and silicone, clean and silicone, and then uh, reattach. Okay, so as you can see, there's some some of the rust build up in the connections. If that was if that was originally uh, sealed, that would have been uh, taken care of, and this wouldn't be an issue. But uh, every single one of the threads possibly needs to be. Uh, they're tight, they're tight. Some of them are not, a couple of them are not, like maybe this one, show more uh, evidence of rust. But uh, uh, like I said, this is uh, after some spot repairs, this is a good candidate for a load test. Okay, a uh, couple of issues up there, couldn't get any closer, so I'm gonna zoom in. Uh, this, uh, an angle that needs to be uh, either replaced or taken out and uh, cleaned out, primed, clean the rust in between, primed, sandwiched with silicone, sealed tight and replaced. Okay, so say this is a building that uh, fire escape with legs to the ground. Here we have the bases. You know, the bases need to be, you know, cleaned up. Zoom in, uh, zoom out. Uh, some of the bases need to be cleaned out. Uh, you can tart all the way about six inches from the ground uh, to keep it from uh, uh, deteriorating because, you know, uh, snow, water, and debris. Uh, will cause this to uh, get damaged. So we need to verify this uh, railing system that is part of the whole structure. So again, you got connections here that if you open them, you clean them, you silicone and and close again. Uh, it's in good it will be in good condition. Some again, some rusted tears showing uh, some water penetration, but they're, they're tight. They're tight to the building, so you need to clean up, prime, and silicone from the top and the sides, and we'll stop that problem. But some of them need to be open because you can see some of the rust already there building. So we need to open and clean them, prime them, seal them. Again, over here, you got a, you got an angle. It's showing a lot of evidence of water coming through. So it's a matter of uh, opening them, scraping, them, clean them prime them and silicone and shut them tight. Everywhere with this uh, a junction, the union, it needs to be cleaned up and shut with silicone. Some of the 
some of the unions to the building. Uh, yeah, they're going to be tight. But again, this is a fire escape with legs to the ground, so that's not an issue. But it needs to be done. We have uh, one area here where one bad leg. We need to open it up, clean it up, fix it and place a, a hole here so when water does penetrate from the top which we're going to eliminate by sealing all these joints but again you know water has its way to get through things uh, you put a hole in here and water will just travel out of the out of the what's in, uh, inside those uh, poles so we need to in this case we need to verify the the pole structure and see if it's uh we can still be safe okay, you get spaces see that uh the seating in, in sonos is uh well done so again um this is a fire escape that uh is a, a good candidate for a low test Again, you can see up there the angles, the support. The grating, they need to be open, cleaned up, sealed, and reattach and seal with uh, 50 year silicone. And that should take care of that problem. This railing is part of the whole egress system uh, and the only issue will be to protect the legs to the cement with uh, some tart so they don't, uh, water doesn't penetrate as you can see there, there is some uh, there is some uh, rust in the bottom there is some uh, uh, like I said, the re water buildup, as you can see that. But that's a very easy solution. Okay, so um, again, this fire escape needs a uh, paint job. Uh, and whoever is going to work on this fire escape, it needs to have a renovator's license because it's, uh, uh, it's to believe that they has a, a lead paint base. All this connection, it looks like uh, you can see the gap there and, and the connection to the wall that could be easily shut with uh, silicone. and avoid uh, having uh, uh, the connection to the wall, getting water through the, uh, through the wall into the house. Okay, so from Lower Massachusetts.
Thank you.